filters. The, these are water filters, so the only thing these these actually remove is water. water. Right. They don't remove anything else. Your engine, your main engine filter is probably a 10 micron. Yeah. And or smaller, depending on the engine. And then the rake oil filter is predominantly going to be um, probably a 30 micron. So it just remo removes it down to a level that's acceptable to the engine. Right. Okay. How much are these? These. Um, they're 26 pounds each. Each one will hold 1.6 litres of water when full. Give you an idea. Ah, right. So fill that. Jesus. Oh, okay. Right, now fill the dry one. Oh wow, that is like a fraction of the way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's why we change, we're putting clean ones in. And so how does how does the physics they're of that cellulose. work? Cellulose. Cellulose. The cellulose. They're a cellulose filter, and all they do is absorb water. Oh, I see. Oil can pass through. Yeah. Water can't. Gotcha. And then there's uh, you get up to a point and then you know that's full and then you start with another filter. Uh, yeah, we can because we actually take samples as we're doing it. Yeah. Plus the gauge, the gauges give it away. When they start getting full, the, the pressure gauge, changes, does it? No, the gauges flicker. Ah, right. Okay. I don't know what I did to my Ebris backer, but I've replaced. I'm on my third Ebris backer in eight years. It will be. It will be the water because they're they're much more sensitive to water than the engine. The engines because these are old. You know, for want of a better word, these are old technology, these engines yes. have got. They're not common rail injection engines where they've got fuel sensors in that simply will not let them start if it's um, there's too much water in the fuel. These old engines, they'll, they'll run heavily contaminated diesel with a lot of water in it, they're, they're not worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the modern common rail injection engines, because they, no. they pressurise up to 30,000 psi, Right. Um, they're particularly susceptible to water so they'll just, the, the sensors will just go mm, we don't like the fuel we're not going to run yeah and that's it and it just will not start where these old engines you know they'll they'll run on run on paraffin for want of a better word once they're running you can you can switch them over and they'd run on kerosene yeah the diesel engines you're now seeing in all boats won't run on this rubbish yeah and your ever spatcher is yeah, modern so you normally for me it's October, when people start switching on their ever spatches, come September, October time, that's when we get calls to inland waterway boats, and it's, it's like it all winter because yeah. the, the fuel's got water saturated and then the it's... heaters won't run. Yeah. You've got no heating. What's this? The, that is the two micron all right. uh, particulate filter, so that takes everything down to two micron that comes out of it. And um, that means that's cleaner than anything you'll get out of any fuel station ever. Right. Because they they clean theirs down to four microns from the refineries. This just takes it down to two micron, which is the same as what the Formula One insist on their fuel for their cars. Oh, right. right. Okay. <laughs> And this dome, is that just letting you know that there's fuel no, going through it? No, that's a magnet. Um, oh, from metal. Metal, yeah, it removes ro rust particles. Yes. So it doesn't destroy the pump. This is this is going to the boat? Yeah, that, that's yes. the inlet to the boat. That's the outlet back out. Yeah. Now, take the sample from the very bottom. <laughs> oh yes, look at the state of that. Now that's sediment and the cloudiness is water yes and all the stuff you saw come up that's dropped to the bottom that's that is sediment if you want a better word so this is sample number one and then you continually take samples as you go yep. that's what we should be aiming for that's you what go. you'll be getting yeah, yeah yeah but all that cloudiness that's water yeah that's what it should look like well that answers that question leave that one up there so we've got something to 3700 pounds in ebris backer <laughs> yeah Go on. The stuff you should be using in your fuel um, as an additive to stop a lot of this happening is, is uh, fuel set. Fuel set? Fuel set, yep. Okay. And you add the appropriate amount on the bottle, the appropriate amount of litres, and every time you fill up you, you put it in, it stabilises the fuel, it stops diesel bug, it stops a lot of the things that have happened to the fuel happening. Yes. It just stabilises it all. If, hypothetically, I was an idiot and decided not to do any of that, 
how long would you reckon it would take before you'd be back? There's so many factors to it. You just, you know, you can't, you can't tell. Sometimes it, it's a week. Sometimes it's a year. Sometimes it's ten years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. It just really depends on how well the fuel's looked after. Yeah. The diesel bug itself um, is, a, is an actual airborne bacteria. Yes. And like all bacteria, it can multiply by a million or 1.2 million times in a 24 hour period. And what is it like? Is it is it the water in the diesel? Is it the mixture? It needs, it needs, it needs, it needs a layer of water yeah. laying in the bottom. Yeah. Uh, and it basically lives in the interface between the water and the diesel. Right, okay. It, it can live in water. So you get water in your tank, the diesel bug can get in. Yeah. And once it's in, there's not a lot you can do about it. If you've got a layer of water in there, it will live it will grow. So yeah, I mean, if you're a boater and you want to do this, it's uh, advisable to be outside the M25. Well, inside the M25, is, is it parking restrictions are the biggest problem? Yeah. Because where generally where the canals and the waterways are, there's literally no parking. Yes. Oh, that's how you take samples? That sample will be after it's been through all the filters and everything. So that way we can see straight away. How's it, how's it doing? So 2.5 kilowatt no generator one. or access to mains electricity. Access to mains electricity. Um, your Honda suitcase will not suffice. No, won't do it. Um, so this is an important point to, yeah. to bring in board. Anyway, I'm going to turn the monster on. <laughs> Oh, you're about to turn it on now. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Oh, oh whoa. Back. I yeah. think a mole just went through. And in a minute, you'll see it look there. Oh, wow. You'll see all the bits of muck and rubbish floating around in it. And you'll see the rust build up on the outside of the magnet. So that's a magnet. The particulate will be in there, in the bag. Yeah. And the water will be in there. And then coming out of there. And then coming out of there is clean red diesel and one would one is one shot enough or you'll test it and then see if oh, one yeah. shot's enough I mean what you can do if I do this now yeah and one cycle through the machine one cycle and the difference is staggering yeah. that's <laughs> you could drink that Oh yeah, oh my word. That's what's in the bottom of your tank. Yeah, okay. And that's that's a crusty layer now that's been sitting there for donkey's years. Oh now, is that the magnet? That's the magnet and that's all the heavy rust particles sticking to the magnet. We're running at about two bar, just a little bit over two bar, which means there's a lot of muck in there. It yeah. should be running at about one and a half. A slight difference in there, which means it's doing its job because it's, it's struggling to put it in there, but it's lower pressure there because yeah. Is being contained by the uh, sock filter. Yeah. So that's the only thing we might have to do is we might have to change Get that. Change one, of those. change one of those over. But they're 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 20 pounds. I am surprised that there wasn't a lake of water at the bottom of it though. You con you're constantly using it, so it's yeah. not allowing it to settle to the bottom. Yeah. So we're out we're out of fuel. And what we'll just do we'll just let the air go through the system. Yeah. It's now bubbling in there. And we'll have a quick look in this filter and see if it needs. Replacing. See how bad it is. We'll dictate whether we need to go and get a new one from the truck. Oh yes, we'll need a new one. You saw how clean that was when it went in. Oh my word. Yep. I didn't bring this up in previous videos, but I have been struggling with the Eberspacker and I've hadn't had a shower for uh, three months. I have had a shower, sorry, big cold showers for three months. I think I've destroyed one Eberspacker in the process and I bought another. So I'm on to my third Eberspacker in eight years. Now I know why. And this is the problem. Um, so this has not been done for eight years. My ownership, and God knows it may never have been done in the previous owners, uh, ownership as well. So this is at least a decade of sludge. So much contamination in there. It's 
lit this everything in it. Mm -hmm. So, what happens next? Are you pumping diesel back in? Yep, we're gonna pump the diesel back in. So that's switch the two pipes over, is yep. it? Are, are you sort of using it as a sort of pressure washer? Yeah. Yeah, and you want to dislodge as much as you can? Yeah. Now the clean diesel's coming out, going back through there, be filtered again. Yep. Every time it goes through the machine, it's filtered. Yeah. And then this is firing it back in at about 20 to 25 psi. Basically, the whole idea is we're just stirring it all up. Oh, it's actually pumping it quite fast as well, because yeah, that's going down quite a bit. It's doing, it's running again at about two bar. Yeah. The main thing is, is when you look at the magnet now, the colour of the fuel. Yeah, look at it, completely different, yeah. Still little bits, loose yep. bits in there, and still a bit cloudy as well, which means obviously there's still a layer of water in the bottom. Um, you've got a contaminated fuel tank. We can take the fuel out, clean it. It's perfect in there, but then I'm going to reintroduce it back into a contaminated tank. So the moment basically you're confident that all the sediment has now been dealt Most with. The sediment seems to have gone. Yeah, yeah actually, it's actually dropping. Okay, so that acts. Oh, so, so, so the diesel's got to come out. It's 25 psi, then it goes out as a fan, so it will then spread around and wash down everything. Yes. So you now, now you can see the amount of rust on the magnet. Oh, wow. Building up, there's a lot of rust in there inside of the tank. And the whole time that will just stir it all up. Plain fuel going in. Where do you get the rags from? Uh, they came from Northern Ireland. Oh, you buy them? Yeah. No, we oh, buy I them. see. We buy them, yeah. We buy them from companies that go around the charity shops buying up on Monty clothing. And then they, they just they rip it up and then sell it as rags? Clearing the fuel in the lines. That again will stir it up in there, it's going to bubble it all up. Yeah. As you can see in the pipe jiggling around. Yeah. That's just blowing air in take everything out, fill it up, pump it back in, then take a sample yes. to see what else is, is pick up, being picked up. We, it's still clean and we've got everything out that's loose. Yes. So effectively there shouldn't be anything in there to have any detriment to your heating system yes. in any way, shape or form or to your engine. But well, I mean, you look at that, I mean, that's what was going through the heating system yeah, and you just go, you know. Would work. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's what was causing your problems. I've got a and full... I, and I suspect it's possibly because around that deck filler being loose. Yeah. This is allowing water to run in. Yeah. So what you really need to do is, is remove it, clean all around it with a good degreaser, get some silicon sealant, yep. some mastic or sticker flex, yep. put it on the underside of that, screw it back down. That will then seal it. Right, let's just, let's just put it back in. We'll just move those two away because those are the ones that have been through the machine. That's what's now coming out your tank. Yeah, That's yeah, the start. Yes. That's the start. It's there. It's not not quite. perfect but that probably needs one more cycle through yeah. empty it in there and then we'll take it back out again still some big bits of muck coming out mm -hmm. yeah that's as damn it yeah, it's as clean okay. as that but other than for that bit of that bit of muck that's in yeah, there yeah 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 but we'll have it out again I'd, I'd probably go in on that side yes out on that side then you'll see it on the outside yes yeah yeah okay oh yep. dear Another load of muck come out that time. Uh, it's just where it's stirring it up. Yeah. Which is why we have to keep doing it. Uh. So we'll have it out again. How many times have we done now? Four. That's four times. And we'll just keep doing it until it gets clean. Yeah. No muck. No muck came out at all with that. That's what you want? Yep. Phenomenal. That's the finished. Look at that. And that's them in order. So this but is very first one. Yep. Are we actually recording if you actually, now? If you actually do that, oh, you yeah, can seal the... Jesus. Yeah. 
That's as it came out. Yeah, yeah. that's as it came out. And then that was, and one, of, and then there was. Oh no, we threw it the, away, didn't we? Yeah, there's that one there. Yeah. Which again, we pulled some bits of muck out, even though the diesel was clean. Mm. And that's the one where I went back in and I stirred it up. Yeah. Uh, the lance that puts the fuel back in, I gave it a good stir around with mm. everything, and obviously it disturbs some more because there's a bit of sediment mm -hmm. there as well. And then this is the last one. Yeah. Again, lovely. Push the diesel in, just taking a sample straight away, so it's, it will pick up anything that's in there. Up to Formula One spec diesel, yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> now let's do the other one. <laughs> if you want, whilst I'm here, I can't do. <laughs> no, the other one's the other one's fine. It was done two years ago. It's the bit that everybody wants to know. It works out as follows: vapor's 200, the water filter's 50 quid for the pair. Yep. The particle filters over 20 pounds each. Lovely. And then there's 56 pounds mileage. Yep. Uh, 346. So remember, this is how it comes. You just need to provide power over 2.5 kilowatt. Yep. Pole will then come out, clear out your tank as you've seen. And if you want to know the numbers, Paul, what's your surname? Gosling. Gosling. Yeah. As in, oh my God. Yep. You're like canal is in your blood. <laughs> Paul Gosling.